it was New Year's weekend and Paul was working and I called him home from work and said, you need to take me into the emergency room. And they found a lump or a cyst. And at that time, they said that it was probably about the size of a softball. Dr. Hopkins, he ended up um, admitting me from his office to the hospital. And then I had surgery the very next day. Surgery was supposed to take four hours. Uh, four hours went by, six hours went by, and then I knew something was bad. The surgeon finally came out and he said, Paul, I'm sorry, but it's cancer. And to have somebody come out and tell you that, it was like a punch in the gut. When I finally woke up here, I mean, I, they did a complete hysterectomy. I had a the cyst out the size of a basketball and I had a colostomy. And the surgeon said that if, if somebody took a handful of pepper and just tossed it into her abdomen, that's what it looked like. The type that I have, there is no cure right now. So again, you get that punch in the gut feeling. And, and, you, know, uh, you, you just deal with it, though. And we've said all along, that, you know, no matter what it is, we're just going to deal with it. And I truly believe that um, I got this for a reason. Uh, my dad asked God into his life because of my cancer. Just like six weeks after I had been diagnosed, he died of a massive heart attack. And if it took me having this cancer for God to get to my dad, and I know where he is now, and if there's other people out there that my illness can touch, then it was worth it. I mean, I know that God could cure me right now if he wanted to, but there must be somebody else out there that I'm supposed to talk to. So bring them on. Carla uh, is my hero. I, I, I can't put it any other way. I have never heard her complain once in the four years that she's had this. I mean, she might say, oh, I hurt her, oh, I'm not feeling good. But I've never heard her say, why did this happen to us? Um, she's always said, hey, God's got a plan. We'd rather have it happen to me than somebody that doesn't know Christ. We don't know why God chose you know, for me to have this cancer, but it's not for us to understand why. And I'm hoping that our boys see how strong our faith is and that, that we aren't asking why or blaming or anything. And that that helps to keep their faith high and strong. I know if this cancer takes Carla, I know that the instant she's gone, her body is going to be cancer free. She's not going to have the cancer, she's not going to have the pain, she's not going to have the suffering. And I know that I'll see her again, and, and that's an incredible peace. There's a reason, you know, that, that things are the way they are, and, and I'm just willing to do whatever he wants me to do, have him use me however he wants to use me.